not bad for a first print. This is my first TPU print. Hi everyone. So in today's video, I want to talk about TPU and how to print TPU on your Ender 3. So as you can see, I've been experimenting with TPU uh, on my Ender 3. And here are a few changes. First, the obvious one is the direct drive. If you don't have a direct drive on your Ender 3 or your printer in general, I don't think you're going to have a good print for TPU. The reason is the filament kind of flexible and it could compress into the tube. So you want that feeding tube as short as possible and the direct drive will give you that. So I believe this is very important to have in a good TPU print. The second change which I have here is the bearing filament holder. This will allow for a smoother kind of feed into the printer and reduces that kind of jerking and pulling into the filament while the extruder is trying to pull on it here. So you want this to be as smooth as possible since this is very kind of flexible and it's not like the PLA. Here is another change. The temperature, like with PLA, I usually print at 200, maybe 210, 215. For TPU, I'm printing at 230. And the bed is not heated on the first layer. So these are two changes to the temperature. Now, the other change, and I think that is very important, is the speed. So the printing speed need to drop. Uh, you definitely need to adjust the speed depending on the print. But I would go down from like 50 or 60. I would go down to like 20 or 15 uh, on the Ender 3. And the printing speed, I think it's important to make sure that you have a clean and good print. So far, it's been looking good for me. So let me show you. Yeah, this is um, kind of first time me trying or attempting TPU, but since I have the direct drive, I've always wanted to give it a shot. And so far it's going well for me. So here's a last tip. You definitely don't want to keep this out because it will absorb all that like moisture and the humidity from the air. So you want to be extra careful with keeping the filament uh, inside like the package or like a plastic bag or something. That's the best way to store it. You don't want to leave it outside for a long time. This will absorb all the humidity in the air quickly. So that's another thing you probably want to be careful with. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next one.